Damn Killian and damn Mike over at Killian downtown. Every time some new joint comes out, he hits me up and he's like, yo, Coops, can I swipe the credit card? And I'm like, sure, why not, fam? And that's what happened here. This bottle was not sent to me. I did pay for this bottle. And this is the new release from Killian. Now, don't ask me what the name is right from Jump because I don't remember. And it's still fully wrapped and we're going to unbox it together. I think it's Blue Moon or Blue Moon Sunrise or... Let's roll my music so we can check it out because I just spent money on a bottle and I can't even remember the name. Bless you, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. I don't remember what it is. Shout out to Mike over at Killian in a. Hey, no, hey, what? Mer not Mer Mer Washington, St Washington Street. Shout out to Mike over at, at Killian and Washington Street and NYC. Uh, that's the homie, bro. He always uh, reaches out when there's some new shit just to tax my card. Yeah. Shout out to Amex and my points. All right, so here's the pretty presentation that I'm sure he wrapped with love. Hope you wash your hands. So I don't know if your sticky ass fingers been all over this mic. Let's open this joint up because I really legit don't remember what it is. It's blue something, blue ice, blue moon. I don't know, it's a new release, but the notes look fire. It was something like, it had like a prominent ginger and freshy note to it, so that's where I, I picked it up, honestly. Uh, yeah, Blue Moon Ginger Dash by Killian. It's their latest release, it just literally dropped. And I just swiped it away, it was like 200 and something, 230, I think, something in that space. I'm gonna open up this joint. I don't know if there's notes or whatever. I don't think you put any notes here. Oh, here's my receipt, hold on. I'll tell you how much it was. $230, $230. That's what this 1.7 ml. Huh? You want Killian, you want pay Killian. Let's open this joint up. I don't know about the notes, but hopefully they'll be somewhere online and we'll find it out. Again, let's open this joint up. I'm smelling, he sends me samples. You always send me little samples here and there. So I'm smelling a lot of stuff. I don't know if it's particularly this for, ooh, that looks nice. Ooh, it's got the Angel Shares type bottle with that blue hue. It has like a little purplish base it kind of shines blue, but the liquid is actually clear, I'm assuming, right? It's, yeah, it's clear. It's completely clear liquid. I thought I said queer liquid. It's completely clear liquid. No, it's not this what I'm smelling. I'm smelling a whole bunch of shit, but let me try to look up some notes first. All right, so the notes are lemon, calone, 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 what's that? Lemon, calone, vodka, core, ginger, and ambroxan. That's what kind of, it was vodka and ginger portion. I'm like, ooh, okay. So again, blue moon, ginger dash. Listen, I hope this joint is pretty good. I'm looking for a brand new sexy ass freshie to bring y'all mother suckers. So hopefully this joint is semi-decent. I like that it's in the Angel Share presentation. I mean, they didn't wanna, would you drop a new bottle if you already have all these joints in stock, right? So let's see what's up with this joint, see if it's any good, and then I'll give you my overall thought process and interpretations. Ooh, it has actually, it's fun. Definitely feels in the designer-ish space, but it has a bit of that Vodka on the rocks booziness. Ginger is very nice and sweet and crystallized. It makes me feel like uh, I've used this analogy in the past before, but there's these ginger teas. I'll show you. See, Uncle Cuba's a tea guy. I don't drink a lot of coffee, I drink tea. So there's these little teas. I like drinking tea that I can't read that has ginger crystals inside, and I'll show you guys what it looks like just so you have an idea, because I've used this analogy in the past and people are probably like, what the fuck is he talking about? So it looks like this, kind of like ginger mixed with like Coke. You guys can see that there. So it's sugary ginger crystals, which is what, yeah, what I get. This is what my point of reference is when it comes to this gingery style. No, it's sweet ginger, vodka on the rocks, very fresh, definitely smells like a Milano Italian icy with the little wooden spoon. Very summery vibes, very fresh. It does smell on that designer space. It smells kind of like, like taking Killian's vodka on the rocks, taking that vodka nuance, putting a little bit of the Dior Homme Cologne, that frosted white bottle that smells like lemoncello, adding a blue aquatic-y designer-ish vibe, giving you that Ambroxan type vibe. And these ginger crystals, and that's the type of energy I'm getting off this shit. Let me try it off skin. It's not super wow. It's very nice though. It's very nice. The booze in here is amazing. I think Killian does a fire ass booze, whether it be the darks or the clear liquors. I mean, they know how to do liquor, but let's see what kind of energy I'm getting off the skin. Blue moon, you 
stop me standing alone. Hmm, interesting. Off skin definitely has different characteristics and different vibes off of it. I'm getting more of the tart lemony action. The ambroxan is still there, but I'm also getting a musky fact that's coming off of my skin. And I did shower. The booze here smells even better off the skin. There's something else that I'm trying to pick up here. It's not just that lemon icy, it's it's more of a peel, like a lemon peel, heavy lemon zest. Still very fun, very vibrant, a lot of energy. It's like aquatic -y style nuance. Very fun, very playful. I don't think it has a big wow moment. I think it's just a very safe summertime boozy vibe with a little bit of a sugary ginger type flow, some musky edges, but I think really the star in here is kind of like that lemon cello Martinelli's lemon ice cream mixed with the booze, mixed with ginger crystals. It's very fun and easy to wear, but you're gonna pay a Killian price tag for this type of joint. See, I'm not completely blown away by the fragrance, but I can't seem to stop smelling it either. So what does that, what does that mean? I like it, it's giving me energy, it's giving me vibe, it's giving me a summertime feel even though I'm freezing my nuts off. So, I'm conflicted. I don't know where to rate this joint right now. I feel the designer essence of this joint. I do like the booze in here a lot. I like the vodka essence in here. I like the crystallized sugary sweet ginger vibes in here but I do feel that, I do feel it's on the safe side and I wanted a little bit of a riskier edge. I wanted a little bit more booze. I wanted to kick up that vodka. I wanted to feel like I'm gonna get a DUI while wearing this fragrance. I don't necessarily feel that off of this. On a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna rate this joint a six, eight. I like the fragrance, it's very playful. I can smell it over and over again without getting like fucking agnostic, right? Like I, it, it doesn't bother me at all. It is very singular focused as far as hot weather, spring, summertime vibes. It's just a very chill, casual, jean t-shirt type vibe. Very casual, very chill, super boozy. 6'8", definitely a ball spray. Summer, summer, summer time. Ooh, Will Smith smacking people, chill. Maybe he's not, you know, on that type of energy. If it bumped up the booze a little bit more, just a little bit more, kind of almost annoyingly boosted up, I think it would be a little bit better and higher rated on my list. Let me know what you guys think based on the notes and is this something you might be interested in copying. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart and I'll see y'all stitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game. Smooches.